This video combines many of the ideas we've explored in previous videos in this series. We'll leverage editing hidden parameters, importing FCP XML into iMovie, custom titles, and replacing existing effects. Let's get started. The most laborious part of recreating the Brady Bunch intro is filming all the clips of your friends and colleagues. I've included a set of cartoon-like clips along with narrated audio direction to guide the process. I recommend that you figure out who's going to occupy each square and review the shots needed before you start shooting. After you're done, iMovie is a great way to cut the clips to length and make sure they are cropped correctly. Once you have this work completed, the rest of the project is a snap. The first step is to download the files from my Google Drive. The link is pasted in the description below the video. Go into my iMovie Hacks folder and download Retro Brady Bunch Zip. and download bradypeople.zip. This could take some time as Brady People is a large file. It contains cartoon-like clips with audio narration to help you film the clips you need for this project. I almost forgot. You're going to need to download the Brady Bunch Remastered font from dafont.com, as well as the Brady Bunch template FCP XML file. After you've successfully downloaded the files, we'll start by installing the font Brady Bunch. Unzip the archive, open the folder, and double click the TTF font file. Install the font. Next, let's open and edit the FCP XML file. It's important to edit the titles in the file rather than in iMovie, as these particular titles aren't editable in the application. Instead of being the Brady Bunch, why don't we be the Wacky Bunch? Now let's import the Brady Bunch template file into iMovie. Here it is. Let's open the project and see what's inside. Let's adjust the zoom. It's now the Wacky Bunch, starring Ryan Reynolds, Scarlett Johansson, and Kathy Bates as Alice. Now it's time to expand the Brady People archive. Double click. Open the folder, and you'll see all of the clips. Let's look at our replacement clips. In this example, I've replaced middle left one, and replace that clip. The next thing we need to do is swap in the video clips that we've produced. Let's start by unzipping the Retro Brady Bunch archive. Double click. Go into that folder. You'll see the structure for this effect is the actual effect itself. This is the motion file and a few thumbnails and the media. What I have bundled is just a bunch of blue videos to help with spacing, but we'll need to swap in the videos we've produced. Let's take all of the videos that we've produced, make sure they're named exactly as the video titles in the template, and replace them. Now that we've got all the clips in place in the media folder, it's time to substitute the effect. 
Let's go into the iMovie application, show package contents, navigate back to the templates folder, open the generators and textures, and here you'll find the retro effect. Now let's replace by bringing in the retro Brady Bunch. Again, this is in the application, so you'll need to provide your password. Now you can see we have two folders, one regular retro and one Brady Bunch retro. Let's select them both and hit Command I to open up their information. Now what we need to do is swap. Note that retro is a localized folder. So our new retro folder will need to be localized as well. Let's rename this Backup. And let's change the name of the Brady Bunch folder to Retro dot localized. There, we've swapped successfully. Now let's try it out. Go to the backgrounds and scroll down. If you've done this correctly, you'll find that the retro background has been replaced. Look at that. To get this back into the timeline, we just need to bring it onto the old retro effect and choose Replace from Start. And there we have it the Wacky Bunch. As a final step, you can download and add the music from the link I've included in the description below the video. I hope you've enjoyed these videos and learned a thing or two along the way. I know I did. <laughs>